evening and as always, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Health officials have long said that a coronavirus vaccine is the key to returning to normal life and with three different shots on the market, many people were starting to see the light at the end of a very, very long tunnel. Now the FDA and the CDC are telling people to stop using the Johnson and Johnson vaccine after some people reported blood clotting disorders and 23 ABC's Bayon Wang will have more on that coming up in just a second. But first we want to break down how the Johnson and Johnson vaccine actually works. So the J and J vaccine is the only one shot in the US that offers immunity in that single dose. And Johnson and Johnson works by using other viruses to elicit an immune response against COVID-19. And this does not mean the shot contains any traces of the coronavirus, but it was developed using other viruses that were designated to mimic COVID-19. Now studies show the Johnson and Johnson vaccine is 72% effective in preventing COVID-19 infections and the Johnson and Johnson vaccine is only approved for people 18 and older. Health officials say you are considered fully vaccinated two weeks after receiving one dose of the vaccine. But now the Johnson and Johnson vaccine has been put on pause as federal officials investigate the adverse reactions reported in other states. And 23 ABC's Bayon Wang joins us live from the Clinton County Public Health Department with more on the impacts that we'll have here locally. Good evening, Bayon. What can you tell us? Yeah, hey, Alex, what I could tell you is that our local health officials here locally say that there isn't going to be much of an impact in terms of vaccine availability. However, there were a lot of vaccine appointments canceled across Kern County because of that CDC and FDA recommendation to put a pause on the J&J &J vaccine. Obviously, we have asked all of the providers that had the Johnson & Johnson uh, in their array of services they were offering to temporarily pause the J&J. &J. This comes after six women between the ages of 18 and 48 developed blood clots, killing one of them several days after receiving the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. The rare adverse reactions prompting the FDA and CDC to recommend a pause on the J&J &J vaccine after more than 4 million doses have been given across the country, according to the CDC. So we are fortunate that we have an abundance of Moderna and Pfizer to offer still to our residents. Michelle Corson with Kern Public Health says as of April 11th, more than 363,000 vaccine doses have been administered in Kern County. The J&J &J vaccine accounting for less than 5% of those. We talk to our providers on a regular basis. So to answer the question with J&J &J specifically, we are not aware of any adverse reactions locally. While no adverse reactions to J&J &J vaccinations have been reported locally, the impact of the recent pause resulted in some head Headaches in Kern County. 23 ABC confirmed with more than 20 local pharmacies, including CVS, Rite Aid, and Walmart, that they've had to cancel all vaccine appointments Tuesday since they only carry the Johnson & Johnson doses. The CVS, Rite Aid, and Walmart pharmacy locations that carried other types of vaccines were not included in the tally. According to Corson, the county's mass vaccination site on the fairgrounds will not be impacted. We have only been offering the Pfizer vaccine. So our our operations are unchanged, as are many uh, local providers. And again, more than a quarter of the health providers that offer the J&J &J vaccine on the Kern County Public Health's website had to cancel appointments today, and they can't offer those vaccine administrations for the coming days. According to the FDA, the investigation into the J&J &J vaccine after those adverse reactions in various states may take a couple more days. Back to you, Alex. And by on the governor said in recent weeks that he wants to fully reopen the state by mid-June. We've heard that several times. Does this current pause impact that timeline in any way, though? Yeah, that's a big question everyone was wondering when they got this news early this morning. And I could tell you that the governor tweeted out today saying, hey, look, things are still looking good. The state has a lot of Moderna vaccines, a lot of Pfizer vaccines that are still being distributed to the counties daily, actively every single week for the last couple months now. So he says that mid-June time frame for fully reopening the state still looks good. We're live in front of the Kern County Public Health Department by Wang, 23ABC, connecting you. 
And if you've gotten the Johnson & Johnson vaccine in the last few days, we're taking a deeper dive into what you should look out for. Health officials say six people developed cerebral venous sinus thrombosis, or also known as CVST, after getting the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. And CVST is a blood clotting disorder that is pretty rare, but health officials say that CVST symptoms are similar to those of a stroke. So you could notice weakness on one side of your body, even changes in your vision and a headache. Some people have also reported seizures. Around the nation, it's estimated that roughly 7 million people received the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Today, Dr. Anthony Fauci says if you've already gotten the shot, you don't need to worry. Someone who maybe had it a month or two ago would say, what does this mean for me? It really doesn't mean anything. You're okay, because if you look at the frame, the time frame, when this occurs, it's pretty tight from a few days, six to 13 days from the time of the vaccination. Fauci added that he would still consider the vaccine safe and that the pause is just a way to assess the situation before moving forward. Pausing the rollout of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine was the best thing to do, according to officials. Fauci also explained that the most complications people are reporting are rare and at this point have only impacted women.